I guess hoops you've been here before with an opportunity to sort of stay in the weather toes is what it's all about. Absolutely. Yeah, um, great opportunity for us. Um, Alan, James, James Slipper especially spoke really well during the week um, about the opportunity that this has and, you know, he's let a lot slip as, uh, as we all have. So, um, you know, this is a great game for us to be back at home, um, you know, with an opportunity. What did Slipper say? A lot. <laughs> more, than, more than you'd think. No, he's, he spoke very well. He's, he's been great in this environment. Um, you know, just around, we've got to play our best rugby. Um, play the rugby that we've been developing over the last couple of weeks. And, you know, we've seen three out of four really good halves of it. Um, got to bring two tomorrow. How much have you improved this area this yeah, I think a lot. You know, we, we talked about being accurate a lot during the week. Um, so the way we, um, you know, kick the ball to our position, um, the way we, you know, were turned over um, through our own errors and, you know, the way Kiwis put pressure on us last week and gave them the ball, you know, gave them a lot of opportunity, which led to, you know, a bit of like a butterfly effect of how things panned out there. Um, so, you know, we control our game a bit better and, you know, we have a, you know, a similar, uh, better performance than Wellington. As a guy who's played numerous blood tests, you've got a number of debutants. Did you have to go up to these young guys and talk to them, to help them through this week? Um, it's a big occasion for a few of them. Yeah, it's a good team effort to you know get the, get those guys there. In, in saying that, they've earned. They've um, you know Dave's been big on earning the opportunity, and these guys have earned the opportunity to to run out or you know come off the pioneer tomorrow night. And you know, equally as important in these games, you've seen how tight they can be, and the importance. Uh, um, you know, a finishing group um, off the bench can be. So um, these guys have all earned their opportunity and it's the start of, you know, a career for some of these guys and the start of a journey. Um, you know, they've, they've worked hard through a super rugby outfit and then they get a chance now um, to do it on, you know, our, one of our biggest stages. It's, it's a pretty good game to debut in. So you were pretty excited, um, felt like you were in the moment leading up to that Eden Park match. Do you feel more comfortable though coming Oh, we had a good we had a good week's prep in Eden Park um, up to the Auckland game. Um, look, it's just we've had another two weeks under our belt. Um, you know, we've been up in the Hunter. It's been nice up there. It's been a you know challenge with the weather and stuff like that. And you know, they've thrown a few curveballs at us. And you know, that's what we can expect throughout this year. It's been it's been that way throughout. Um, but you know, we have, it feels like I haven't played in our age. We've played a Waratahs game here, but some of our guys haven't even played here. Um, so that's you know it's such a such a great chance to be back in front of our home fans. Um, you know, yeah, watching the game the other night that was played here, it was a great turnout. Um, and really, really keen to see a lot of gold in the crowd tomorrow night and, and have our players experience that in a Bledisloe fixture at home. Um, you know, shame that we do have restrictions with the crowd, but um, you know I feel it's going to be loud tomorrow night, and I'm pretty pumped for that. Fraser, um, Dave said you put your arm around him. Heap of energy, good on ball presence. Um, you know he's a running threat as well. Um, so you know, for however the back row lines up for us um, towards the back end of the game or early, you never know how these things work. Sometimes, you know, um, you know he's going to bring a big threat at the breakdown. He's impressive there throughout the Super Rugby AU comp. Um, you know, so hopefully we can tag team, get a bit of work done. <laughs> What about your new player? What's he impressed you with? He's a confident player. Um, you know, from watching him from afar in the Brumbies outfit, he's been really good in, in the way he manages himself and the team. So I've been impressed with, uh, with him there. Um, you know, he's he, like probably him more, you know, he had a, a bench spot there down in Wellington, doesn't get on out of the team and now straight into a starting spot. So it's a, you know, everyone in our team has a great story. That's no different. And now he gets to definitely get a cap, you know, um, run out there tomorrow night and, um, you know, get to do it on another level. That's what it is about earning the opportunity at another level than proving yourself against, um, you know, against New Zealand um, in a test jersey. And, you know, really excited for the jersey we're wearing tomorrow night um, at home. So he's ready to go. Big crowd plays low for a debut. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good thing about starting, right? The good thing about starting is you know when kickoff happens, you're there, you're on the field, you can prepare that way. It's quite hard actually being a finisher um, sometimes because you could get on in the 10th minute or the 75th minute. So how you prepare can sometimes be a bit of a trick uh, for Noah. Um, he's on, 
you know, zero kick. He might be kicking off the first ball. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for him. Defensively speaking, there's a bit of pressure at that 10, 12 channel. How do you, how do you go about just helping those guys? Uh, we've got a plan around that. Um, you know, we did a good job stopping them defensively in Wellington. Um, and like I said, through some of our accuracy in, the, in game two, we gave them a lot of space. And they're big, powerful, athletic guys that can make you pay if you give them space and give them time. So um, want to um, starve them of that, um, control the game as much as we can. We know, we know there's going to be times where um, they're going to have the tails up. As, uh, as these games always do. So, you know, how we stop that, get the ball back is important. Uh, Michael, another Sam Palmer's from Colin. Um, you know, it's a pretty powerful Colin going. Colin regarding his sexuality. Just wondering if you've read it, your thoughts. I know you're obviously looking at Dan down the front. And, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel really happy for Dan. Um, I do know Dan. You know, he's a great bloke. He's a great wallaby. Um, you know, great rugby player and now coach. So, um, you know, wishing him all the best. And it was a very powerful Colin. Do you think that has the potential to, you know, if people are feeling that way, to also, you know, express themselves, um, you know, given that there are so few that have done so? Oh, I'm, un I'm unsure, you know, and I guess that's why someone like um, Dan's putting that out there, and I think, you know, his words speak speak loud in the uh, in the article. Happy New Year, guys. Anyone online? Here you go, Michael. Uh, Luke Robinson here from New South um, in New Zealand, mate. How's it going? Yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Um, obviously, you guys have two games now oh, in Aussie. Um, you, you go home with the chance to win the Bledis World Cup. Do you see that as sort of a home advantage? Well, it obviously is home advantage for you guys, but do you see that as, as, as almost advantage Aussie? Oh, as we said down in Auckland, it's a uh, you know same same size footy field. Um, you know, yeah, we're at home. We're we're across the road. Um, you know, shacked up so. Um, look, we're, both teams, I'm sure, are going to be prepared, going to have a good, have had a good preparation. Um, as it has in the last two games, it could be 80 minutes more to, to split these teams. So, um, you know, that's, that's, that's all it is. You spoke about, oh, it's been spoke about it this week, about um, how, I guess, uh, a lack of accuracy in that second game. How much more accurate do you need to be to beat this all place up? Oh, we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> um, you know, they, they took their opportunities well last week. You can't give them too many. Um, and we want to pressure them to give us some opportunities, which we think we're capable of. So, you know, tomorrow night after the game, probably have a better indication. Just last one for me. Um, obviously, we know the history about how, how many times, you know, the, the, the Kiwis have won this cup. Um, where does this rank in terms of your best chance in the last sort of, you know, 10 or so years of being able to win it? I don't know. Um, every team's been different every year, or the group's always different every year. You know, we're, I'm not focused about history, we're focused about tomorrow, mate. And um, we got a really good opportunity um, at Sydney with a really, really good, exciting young team that's playing some, um, some pretty good footy. So, um, you know, we're, hope we're looking to improve tomorrow night. We will improve tomorrow night and uh, we'll go from there.